Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Professor Fehaniola. This time we will have our LET review in the mathematics new curriculum, the mathematics in the modern world. Please don't forget to subscribe. Time we will continue our review. Share first my screen. This is a LET review 2023. This is mathematics in the modern world. This is under the new curriculum of the general mathematics. So we have here under the mathematics in a modern world. So question number one, find the next term of the given sequence. One fourth, negative four over nine, nine over 16, negative 16 over 25. So here we have the pattern. If you are going to examine the pattern here is alternate plus minus plus minus. So the possible for the next term here is positive. So, if you have there the positive, so the formula there is negative 1 to a power of n, since uh, n squared. So, this is n over n plus 1 plus 1 squared. When you squared negative 1, that's negative, this negative, it's become positive. And then, this one is mahimo siyang additional 1, so we have there 2, so negative 2 plus 1 3 so negative 1 to the power 3 will become negative so the next term here since we have the pattern negative 16 so the next is 5 positive 5 squared over 6 squared 6 squared so the answer is 25 over 36 letter a okay next Find the next term of the given sequence. O, T, T, F, F, S, S, E, N. So, identify the pattern. This we have here. Pattern. This is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, the pattern here. This is from the first letter of the word 1. 1. So, O, T for 2. T for 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the next term here is T for the word 10. So the answer is letter C. Next, find a common difference of an arithmetic sequence whose 12th term is negative 3 and the 30th term is negative 12. So here you are going to form from the general formula of an arithmetic sequence we have a n is equal to the first term a1 plus we have their n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference so form the equation 1 equation 1 here is we have there the given 12 is negative 12 term is negative 3 so negative 3 is equal to the first term plus since that is the 12th term, so minus 1, 11, multiplied by the common difference. Equation 2, we have the given there. The 30th term is negative 12. So 30th. So negative 12 is equal to your first term added to, we have there, uh, 20, 30th, so 29 minus 1, 29 multiplied by the common difference and then eliminate use the elimination method subtract to cancel the first term so subtract subtract so when you subtract change the sign of the subtrahen and proceed to addition so this will become plus this will become minus that's why we can sell this one and this will become minus so negative three plus positive 12 the answer is positive 9 this is greater than 12 then cancel a1 then 11 minus negative 29 is negative 18 multiply by the common difference so divide by negative 18 negative 18 this is negative so divide by 9 we have 1 and 18 divided by 9 is 2 so negative one half 
the common difference here is negative one half letter B. Next, question number three. So the answer here is letter B. Question number four. In a group of 65 farmers, we have 35, 65 farmers, 35 of them are landowners. Of the 35 landowners, 20 have hand tractors. 15 of the non landowners have no hand tractors. How many farmers have hand tractors? So you can draw here a Venn diagram if you want. Or remember, there are 65 minus 30. So 30. There are 30 landowner, landowner, and then there are uh, non landowner rather, and then 35 landowner. So landowner 35, this one is for non, since there are 35. So this 30 non landowner we have here for the landowner first. Out of 35, 20 have hand tractors. Then no hand tractors there are. So from 35 minus 20, there are 15. No hand tractor. And they have tractors. Of the 30 non-land owner, 15. According to the given, 15 of the non-land owner have no so 15, 15 no tractor, and then sa 30, there are also 15 have hand tractors. So you can solve like this. So the question, how many farmers have hand tractors? So you just add 15 have hand tractors of the non -land owners and 20 from the... Uh, Landowners, a total of 35. So the answer is 30, 35. Letter D. Letter D. So the answer here is not A, but letter D. Uh, I'll try to. So the answer here is letter D. 35. Question number five. Let given the universal set is one, two, three, one until ten, and A is two, four, six, eight, ten. B is one, three, five, seven, nine. C is one, five, seven, nine. D is two, six, eight. E one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Find C. Find C union D. We're looking for C combined with D. So we have one. We have the elements 1 combined with D. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So the answer is this one, E. So the answer is letter B. Question number 6. In a class, the following students have 40 textbooks in algebra, 40 textbooks in English, and 40 in Filipino. Besides, 20 have textbooks in algebra and English. 15 have textbooks in algebra and Filipino. 10 have textbooks in English and Filipino, and 5 have all the three. So this time, you are going to... You can draw the... You can draw the Venn diagram. So there are there are three we are going to show the correct answer solution rather so we have there are three sets here uh three so we have for the the algebra and the english and we have here the filipino so in this case you're going to draw the venn diagram starting from the common between the three so we have five have all the three so five here and then 10 english and filipino english and filipino 10 we have already five so you just add five 
another 15 have textbooks in algebra and philip algebra and english 15 so we are going to add here 10 so total now total now for algebra and filipino is 15 then 20 have textbooks in algebra and english algebra and english ah algebra and filipino ganihan no so this is algebra and filipino we have algebra and filipino 15 so you are going to add 10 here then 20 for algebra and english okay so algebra and english we can solve again so we have three we have three sets okay we have for algebra english and filipino so you can label algebra english and filipino so you're going to draw starting from the last information given we have five of all the three so five common between the three sets and then so you're going to draw the venn diagram starting from the common between the three sets so five have all the three subjects and then 10 have textbooks in english and filipino so this part is english and filipino so you're going to add five so we have now 10 for english and filipino then 15 have textbooks in algebra and filipino algebra and filipino 15 so this is the common between algebra and filipino so you're going to add 10 and then 10 besides 10 have textbooks in algebra and english so 20 so we have already five so you just add 15. how many total for algebra we have 40 40 all in all so 10 15 20 so pila naman siya so you're going to add this is 30 so you just add 10 so a total now of 44 algebra 10 20 30 40 for english there are a total of 40 so you are going to add also this is 10 25 so you pila na may add you're going to add to make it 40 so you're going to add laman ni siya 10 20 25 15 to make it a total of 40 okay and then this for the filipino we have already 10 and 10 so 20 so you just add 20 so the question here how many have textbooks in algebra only so this one so we have 10 so the answer is letter a so the answer for this you are going to draw the venn diagram okay and then from the last information or the common between the three sets okay next question number seven the sum of the first three terms of the geometric sequence were a1 the first term and the common ratio so you're going to get the sum of the given geometric sequence so find the sum so we have the formula for the sum of a geometric sequence sn is equal to uh, a1 a1 is the first term multiply by 1 minus r to the power n over this is n over 1 minus r okay so we are going to substitute here you are looking for find the first three so s3 sum of the first three terms so a1 here is 3 given na and then 1 minus the common ratio is 2 2 substitute and then your r here 2 to the power n so what is your n you're looking for the third term so this is 3 divided by 1 minus 2 okay so simplify we have 1 minus 2 to the power 3 is 8. 1 minus 8. 1 minus 8 over 1 minus 2. 
Okay, final answer. 3 times we have here negative 7 over 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So, negative divided by negative is positive. So, 3 times 7. 3 times 7. So, the answer is positive 21. So, letter B. Question number 8. Find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence in which A1 is 6 and D is 5. So, we have there the formula for the arithmetic sequence. Remember, review, AN is equal to the first term A1 plus N minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. So, substitute here, A1 is 6 multiplied by, you are looking for the 12th term. So, A sub 12. So, 12 minus 1 is 11 multiplied by common difference of 5. So, 6 plus 11 times 5 is 55 so the answer is 61 so we have here letter b 61 next number nine if a1 is two-third and the common first term is two-third and the common ratio is three halves and the n is three find a n so you're looking for a sub you're looking for a sub three so, third term. This is geometric. So, remember geometric is the formula there is A1 times the common ratio to the power of N minus 1. That's the formula for geometric sequence. So, here, substitute. The first term is 2 thirds. 2 thirds. Multiply by. Multiply by the common ratio is 3 halves. 3 halves to the power of 3. 3 minus 1. N minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. So, 2 third times 3 minus 1 is 2. So, 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. Okay. Simplify. So, divide by 3 is 3. Divide by 3 is 1. Divide by 2 is 1. Divide by 2 is 1. So, the answer is 3. 3 halves. 3 halves that are A. Okay. Question number 10. What is the shaded in the Venn diagram? This one. How you are going to name this one? So, this is. Since this is the common between the two sets. So, this is the inter intersection the name here is intersection so we have here a intersection b so the answer is letter letter b okay that's all for a review of some topics in mathematics of the modern world thank you for joining me in this let review please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always updated of my next review Good luck and God bless in your exam.